বাংলাদেশের শিল্প ও ব্যবসায়ী খাতে এরূপ মানুষের সংখ্যা একেবারেই হাতে গোনা আর শীর্ষ পর্যায়ের নির্বাহী থেকে শীর্ষ পর্যায়ের উদ্যোক্তা সে সংখ্যা আরো কম তো শীর্ষ নির্বাহী থেকে শীর্ষ উদ্যোক্তা হয়ে ওঠা জনাব এম আনিসুদ্দৌলার জন্ম উনিশশো সালের পয়লা মার্চ লাভ স্টোরি খ্যাত প্রখ্যাত মার্কিন উপন্যাসিক এরিক সেগেলের জন্ম একই বছরে জনাব আনিসুদ্দৌলার বাবা ছিলেন ব্রিটিশ ভারতের খেতিমান আইনবিদ ও সমাজসেবী খান বাহাদুর মোহাম্মদ ইসমাইল মা কাকাবুল নেসার ভাইবন্ধুদের মধ্যে সকলেই শস ক্ষেত্রে প্রতিষ্ঠিত ও স্বনামধন্য ব্যক্তিত্ব তবে এর মধ্যেও আবার বিশেষভাবে পরিচিত হচ্ছেন প্রয়াত নজরুল সঙ্গীত শিল্পী ফিরুজা বেগম ও প্রাক্তন সচিব ও সঙ্গীত শিল্পী জনাব মোহাম্মদ আসফ উদ্দৌলা তো আমি আসলে এই ইউনিভার্সিটি পক্ষ থেকে আমাদের সম্মানিত আজকের প্রধান অতিথি বা আজকের যিনি স্পিকার বা আজকে যাদের কাছ থেকে যার কাছ থেকে আমরা সবাই শুনতে চাই আমরা শুধু যে উদ্দেশ্য নিয়ে আমরা আসলে এই সিরিজটা করে যাচ্ছি তার মূল একটি মাত্র কারণ যে আমরা চাই যে বাংলাদেশে আনিসুদ্দৌলার মতো আরও অনেক নতুন নতুন অন্টারপ্রনার তৈরি হোক যারা এই দেশকে পরিবর্তন করবে কারণ আজকে আমার বড় অপেক্ষা রাখে না যে একজন আনিসুদ্দৌলা পুরো সমাজ ব্যবস্থার কত পরিবর্তন করতে সক্ষম হয়েছে আমরা জানিভাবে সুফি মিজানুর রহমান অনেক পরে এসেছেন আনিসুদ্দৌলাদের কিন্তু তারপরেও কিন্তু আজকে পিএইচপি গ্রুপ বা অন্যান্য যারা অন্টারপ্রনার হিসেবে কাজ করছে তারা পুরো বাংলাদেশের আর্থ সামাজিক কাঠামোতে যেভাবে পরিবর্তন করে যাচ্ছে সেটা আমার বিশ্বাস যে কোনোভাবেই আমরা অস্বীকার করতে পারি না এবং সেখানেই আমরা মনে করি যে এই বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় থেকে আমরা প্রতিনিয়ত কাজ করে যাচ্ছি যাতে নতুন নতুন উদ্যোক্তা তৈরি হোক এবং আজকে যারা তোমরা সামনে সারিত উপবিষ্ট আমি মাননীয় স্পিকারকে উদ্দেশ্য করে বলতে চাই বা আমাদের প্রধান অতিথিকে যারা আজকে সম্মুখ সারিত উপস্থিত এরা কিন্তু সবাই রেজিস্ট্রেশন করে এসেছে এর উদ্দেশ্যটাই হচ্ছে তারা আসলে কতটুকু সিরিয়াস সেটা বোঝার জন্য কারণ আমরা কিন্তু আসলে ওপেন কাউকে ইনভাইট করি নেই তাই তো আমরা কাউকে ওপেন ইনভাইট করি না কারণ আপনি জানেন যে ওপেন ইনভাইট করলে সম্ভবত ইস ইম্পসিবল ফর আস টু অ্যাকোমোডেট অল অফ দ্যাম তো আমরা আশা করি মাননীয় আমি আবারও আমি সুদ্দুল্লাহ সাহেবকে বলবো যে আসলে আমাদের বাংলাদেশের যারা উদ্যোগ তাতে সাকসেসফুল কন্ট্রিবিউশন রেখে যাচ্ছে তাদের নিয়ে কোনো স্টাডি হচ্ছে না আমি মনে করি বা আমি আবারও বিশ্বাস করি যে আপনাদের উপরেই কিন্তু আসলে গবেষণা হওয়া উচিত আপনাদের উপরেই কিন্তু আসলে আমি মনে করি যে পিএইচডি হওয়া উচিত আপনার দিক নির্দেশনা নিয়ে আমরা আগামীতে এগিয়ে যেতে চাই আমরা চাই এই বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় আগামীতে এই পুরো বাংলাদেশে যাতে উদ্যোক্তা উন্নয়নে একটা ব্যাপক ভূমিকা রাখতে সক্ষম হয় সবাই জানেন আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানটি কিন্তু সরাসরি এখন সম্প্রচার হচ্ছে ক্যাম্পাস টিভি এটা ডেফিনিটলি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইউনিভার্সিটির একটা নিজস্ব এডুকেশন চ্যানেল এটা পৃথিবীর যে কোনো জায়গা থেকে লগ ইন করে দেখা যায় www.campustv.ac এবং আমরা জানি যে একসময় টেলিস্টোরিয়াল টেলিভিশন ছিল তারপর স্যাটেলাইট টেলিভিশন এলো এরপর আইপি টিভি এটি একটি আইপি টিভির অংশ এবং আগামী শতাব্দী হবে বা এই শতাব্দীরও শুরু হয়ে গেছে এই ইন্টারনেট বেসড টেলিভিশনই কিন্তু আসলে পৃথিবীতে টিকে থাকবে আমরা জানি যে এটা অন ডিমান্ড মানুষকে সার্ভিস দিতে পারে মোবাইল টেলিফোনে লগ ইন করলেও এটা দেখা যায় এবং এটা সম্প্রচার শুরু হয়েছে আজকে সকাল দশটা থেকে এই তথ্যটা জানিয়ে রাখছি এবং এটিকে আমরা ইউটিউবে কিন্তু আপলোড করতে পারবো যাতে করে পৃথিবীর যে কোনো জায়গায় যে কোনো মানুষ এখান থেকে সমৃদ্ধ হতে পারে কারণ নলেজ ডিসেমিনেশন হচ্ছে প্রার্থনার সামিল নলেজকে আটকে রাখার কোনো সুযোগ নেই নলেজকে ছড়িয়ে দিতে হবে সমস্ত পৃথিবীতে সো থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ স্যার থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ এটা আপনার সময় আপনি শুরু করতে পারেন আমাদের ছাত্রছাত্রীদের জন্য এবং আমরা যারা বসে আছি সবাই আজকে আপনার কাছ থেকে জানতে এসছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম Honorable Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Gautapadil International University, distinguished members of the academia, respected guests, Plus. and fellow students. I say fellow students because I am one of you, I believe in continuous learning. I believe that uh, 
learning never ends. When you stop learning, I think you have lost your relevance. So, I believe in absorbing new ideas. I think that there is always something more to learn. It is a wonderful initiative that this university has taken in creating this linkage between business people and the academy and the academia. This creates a relevance to our education because education is for production, productivity, for enhancing the economic activities of the country. So, this linkage is, it makes it relevant to make the students familiar with what is in the real world. <clears throat> I am really humbled by this uh, honor and uh, I am not an entrepreneur in the real sense. Maybe marginally, maybe in the broader context, you can try to relate my life and my activity and how it interfaces with a true entrepreneur. A true entrepreneur is a person who takes an innovation, designs, markets, creates a economic value out of that new initiative, which is unique and which replaces some of the existing businesses. So it is a very noble role. A vibrant economy needs good entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs can be also, the people can be imbibed into being an entrepreneur through learning the process and then enabling them to think of a new way of satisfying a desired, a need of the market or to create a need, like Facebook and things of that nature, they have created a need. The need was not perceived, the need was not there. So an entrepreneur does create that for himself or herself, and that is entrepreneurship in the true sense. I started my career with oxygen, you heard my, uh, the details of my career, but just to highlight some of the things that I have done. I always considered that there is a better way. There is always another way of doing things and that may be more efficient. So, As I studied physics, and I was always interested in engineering, how things work. So when I started my job, I started questioning every bit of the process, starting from day one. Just as I was introduced to the different departments and as I was told about the systems, at that time, I wrote down an alternative system of cylinder control, oxygen, these cylinders. And I submitted that along with my monthly report. I submitted that to the managing director who was looking after our training. And I never heard anything about it. I'm not supposed to see that file. 
But, you know, when the liberation came, Karachi sent out all the documents to East Pakistan, to Bangladesh. And I was in charge. I saw that file of mine. That's a unique opportunity to see what happens behind the scene. And I saw that uh, <clears throat> in that report, which was filed, the managing director wrote to the general manager saying that, uh, have a look. But there's no other noting. But that's interesting that uh, how things happen behind the scene. So this is, the attitude is the important thing, that I never allowed anything to pass by without questioning. I will question, I will not necessarily change, I will not uh, protest, but I will definitely have a thought that can it be done in another way? Can it be done in a better way? And I found that in most of the cases that is so, because nobody is perfect. A new angle of vision definitely creates a little bit of improvement. And I believed in continuous improvement. And that is how ACI runs, that everything we do, we try to do it differently the next time. And this continuous quest for efficiency, I think, takes the company to a great height. I can say that the machinery we use, nobody in the country or anywhere we know runs it better. We take the specification from the manufacturer and we make sure we are at least 5 to 10 percent more efficient in terms of output. And it is possible. In oxygen, I have done oxygen compressors. This I have done slowly and gradually without, without consent, but I have declared after this. I started changing the pulleys, the ratios changed, and the compressor was 5% up. Then the compressor was 10% up. With my engineer, slowly and gradually, I managed to start seeing how far this compressor can go before it becomes uneconomic. I reached up to 30%, and beyond that, the valves were breaking down too frequently. That was the optimal. I did that, and I, then I told the head office. London was uh, somewhat surprised did not say anything uh, negative, but did not appreciate this kind of initiative. And they are still running at 30% higher. It is possible. So, this is, is this entrepreneurship? Maybe it sort of borders line touches onto my approach as an entrepreneur. I used to run our electrode factory in Chittagong, which I set up. And I compared the same machine in Madras, in oxygen. And mine was running with 23 people. And they are running it at, I think, around 40 people. And my production was slightly more than theirs. You know, this is a matter of attitude. But an entrepreneur has got to establish an unknown product, a new product into the market. So he has to have this approach and he has to develop the skill to be able to look at things differently and to be able to pursue. My schooling was in Faridpur. What I think made a difference in my life is because my father was the teacher, teacher of English. 
he would get us when he comes back from his office he sits in an easy chair and brings calls one of us we used to dread this because you know, whoever is get, uh, got hold of at that time his afternoon play and all that is gone he says that read the statesman's statement uh, statement was statesman was the newspaper read the editorial to me he would just listen and uh, we we'll read and as we will come across any word that we don't understand and he could make out which one we can he will say that open the dictionary and don't utter a word first see the pronunciation notation and just in the first go you must pronounce it correctly and then then you go into the body in details of the uh, the dictionary and write down the word on the blackboard which he provided in our house the blackboard i must write down the word and the meaning and then and there are seven or eight such other name or words so this used to be our learning and he would ask us to listen to the bbc so that our pronunciation is right so education in faridpur but in english wherever i went i was strong <laughs> this is i think very important for our students for our for everybody in life that uh, english is the international language if you do not know english you are significantly disadvantaged so i never had any problem coming to dhaka going to karachi going to london never had any problem with anybody in terms of understanding them or in terms of expressing myself so you students particularly must pay attention to english it is so easy now to learn english just so many ways you can listen to and there was a time when we started our education in just one radio in a house somewhere very well protected because a very precious thing is not easily available so these days you just and also in those days to listen to bbc you know there's a lot of static and lot of sound coming out so we were to be carefully listening now you are sort of relaxed and you don't bother you get automatically first class so this way i never felt a problem so that is one point i would like you to remember second thing is that inquisitiveness that i always had for which i started studying physics did not quite feel comfortable after having learned the basics then i was more interested in engineering with bangladesh coming from faridpur educated in faridpur jilla school to start with i am supposed to have a lot of baggage with me but i think i was lucky to get this kind of exposure which helped me in my later life dealing with the british executives in oxygen in um, ici i had a very rapid growth in my career in 12 years i became from a branch uh, branch sales manager to the managing director i did it thank you i did it because i always believed in this that learn your job well whatever you do you must be able to do what you supervise 
These are all supervisory positions, all some subordinates work for you. You must know the subordinate's job fully, number one. Number two is you must be a technically a very sound, no matter what you do. You should know the inside out of it. Number three is you must help the boss with his job. No boss is perfect. Every boss has got a problem. There is no guarantee that he is more clever or efficient or knowledgeable than you. So as a subordinate, what do you, go, what do, you do? I would help him. And I'll try to help him. And let him take the credit. In, your, in our days, the letters used to have uh, at the bottom initial of the person who dictates, writes, and initial of the person who types. Never put your name, or never in that draft, on the left side, the boss's initial should go, not yours. And give him. You give him and he changes. After a couple of months and couple many such interactions, you get to understand him fully. And your success is then when you give him a perfect document which he signs and sends. Then you know you are ready to do his job. So the trick is to be able to help the boss in the process, learn the job and be ready for be ready for whatever comes. And I was always ready and I always found that I was chosen when the opportunity came because I was ready. So this is uh, one way I have leapfrogged many, my, many of my colleagues and uh, became the managing director. In ICI, I went for interview from Kenya, I was working. And they found me an instant fit into this group managing director's position in East Pakistan. No, Bangladesh at that time. So I was uh, very lucky. I got opportunities to work with a different set of people whose values were somewhat different. Culture, uh, work culture, work ethic was different. I worked there and I could blend with that culture. I did what I was supposed to do, that means an unprofitable company was made profitable within two and a half years of my coming. This I did a great deal of uh, research and understanding it was new business. Pharmaceutical is totally different from oxygen. Then um, multinationals have their own restrictions. You can't add headcount. Globally, they must see that the total headcount is balanced. So, within that constraint, we made it company profitable. And then I heard that ICI would divest all the small countries, and Bangladesh is one of them. So, come over to London. Mill Bank is the headquarters, come back to Millbank and give a presentation and we will see whether or not you should remain or be divested. I made the presentation. The problem was that I could be making a profit here, but when they put the global overhead of a multinational, I was big negative. Global overhead is, that means their entire cost divided by the number of nations. They are in 41 countries. So those hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, pounds sterling, 
divided by 41. It was, I was minus, I think, 500,000 pounds per year and small. So I could not justify that they should keep me. So they asked for bids, <coughs> got many good bids from the Middle East. And I was told that one Mr. Choudhury and one Mr. This, we wouldn't tell you the full name, but you know, they have quoted very good price. But Anis, we are not interested really in a good price for this operation of this size. This is too small for us to bother one way or the other. The issue is it has got 350 employees. So I said to myself that, look, I don't have any more London, any more Guardian. It is a very dangerous situation for me to do a wrong thing and there's nobody to stop me. And I'm not perfect, so how do I balance? I said, let's have some monitoring automatically. IS, uh, ISO was at that time just beginning to come up. I engaged an Indian consultant. I said, we want an ISO. So in one and a half years, we got the ISO. Why? Because ISO would force me to do things that I would have made maybe otherwise overlook. I also, in, uh, uh, for environment also, ISO 14001 is for environmental management system, and ISO 9001 is for quality management system. And I'm very happy that Bangladesh, in Bangladesh history, ICI, ACI is the first company that got ISO certification in all categories. <laughs> so I had a guardian. We said that we must have some foresight, what we want to do. Why exactly? Is it for money making? No. I have to look after these employees. That's one of my um, uh, commitment. I have to have quality to keep up the ACI, ICI image. These two are my must. In addition to that, we want to really work for the betterment of the nation, because ultimately it is not my intention, because I'm the majority shareholder, it is not my intention to make money out of it. It is my intention to maximize on what we can do for the nation. We sat down and we took a mission statement, which says that we will be operating for the improvement of the quality of life of people. You have heard that in this film. <laughs> quality of life of the people is our motto. So whatever we do, we examine it. Is it really qualifying, improving the quality of life of people? And we try to do that. So that every product delivers what it claims and there is no shortcut, there is no cost that is, no loss that is too much if quality is concerned, there is no compromise. So quality became our number one value. Next was continuous improvement which was my passion. <coughs> Fairness. This society has to be fair because we are known to be unfair in many respects. In my company now I can say that nobody is employed through any nomination or any recommendation. MPs 
or whoever. It doesn't matter. There's some people who are very good in putting it over a stamp and signing or whatever. But that that has no meaning in ACI because what we say is it goes into the list of a list of uh, what waiting list. They only categorize from the uh, experience or uh, the qualification of the person. They assign that maybe he can be a accounts man or he can be an engineering man, whatever. And then they put him in that category waiting list. And if we have a vacancy, we internally first communicate, get if there is any, anybody working who is eligible. If not, we advertise <coughs> or we go online, we get all the applicants. Only thing we do is that we allow this fellow also to appear in that examination. Full stop. MP or anybody. The recommendation is to the extent of that I will put him in the system so that he at least gets a opportunity. I cannot do anything else. The system is such that Nobody can do anything else. This is to maintain ethics, the fairness that we said is our motto. Unless we are in a position to absorb the pressure and not succumb to uh, recommendation, we are true to our values. So fairness, continuous improvement, I said, fairness, innovation, of course, without innovation, you will be irrelevant as a business if you do not innovate. If your people don't innovate, if they don't change, somebody else will come and take on your business. So innovation is an important way of continuing your existence. It is not a choice. You must. So that is where entrepreneurship comes in. You will prosper in your working life if you have this attitude of mind. Yet whatever I see, I will never do the same thing the same way. I will try to do it a little better. You develop a form. The most simple example, ask anybody to develop a form. He does a one-page form. And then you find that address should be for our kind of country. It's not Dhaka, that one or two, the road number, plot number, and uh, the area. That is it. But there are people who are coming from Sons of Aramara village or whatever. So his address is the post office, this, that. All kinds of things are there, at least two lines. But you have provided one line. Whereas uh, in another male or female, this is even a one line. Full page, you just male or female, you just put one. But address, there is no space. So, firstly, you didn't think, when well, you didn't design a good form. Okay, but continuous improvement will take you to a best design because you will see that something is clogged up, you will see something is big space left. So this is an attitude of mind that the moment you have this approach, you will begin to see incremental improvement. And every step is a better step. So please remember this. You know the values that I talked about, these are values that my father used to teach us about. Like Ishwar Chandra Vita He's crossing that river, <coughs> taking risks on his life because his mother was ill. What did it teach us? My father was interested in that kind of discussion. That what did you learn from? The story is not so important, but what you learn? Learn that courage 
not so much that love and my mother is so you are crying, no. You see that the courage, determination takes you somewhere. This is the way he used to teach us. Then uh, Casablanca. These are old stories, you know, maybe you people have to not know them. Casablanca is a boy whose father said, sit, stand here, I am coming on a ship and the ship then caught fire and everybody was evacuating so the boy was asked to evacuate but he didn't just move. This is obedience, this is uh, uh, acceptance of an instruction, that kind of thing. So, so all these stories gave us some values, gave us ideas and without values you cannot prosper. Unless you have integrity, in addition to other qualifications, if you want to go up in life, you must have integrity. That you must not get carried away by short term. When we set up SEI, how did we spread our tentacles? Quality of life of people is our motto. Okay, what is required? The salt we used to have earlier, you would find that you have to filter it. I was a student uh, of physics. I used to take one or two filter papers from the lab, take it to my home, try to put and see that the water that is used for uh, cooking, what kind of uh, things come out in the filter. Similarly, our sea salt that we were taking in those days, crystallized, big crystals, little blackish, and that it was 40% was small fibers and other uh, organic materials. That is what we used to have. So we said that let's have vacuum-operated salt, which is standard for the rest of the world. We joined hand with Tata. We started uh, examining local water of local the processes and almost came to a marketing situation. Then Tata said that well what name should it be? Tata? So I said in It cannot be Tata salt. Salt is so basic. It is so much into every household it would be uh, betraying my national identity if I allow this to get into pigeon. So I said, no, name has to be neutral. It must have some ACI context. It can have Tata context also. But it has to be, the, the brand name should be different from Tata. So so we disagreed on this and we parted company. Then we did it ourselves. And we were the first company which marketed iodized, a vacuum evaporated, free flowing salt. Salt is everywhere. You'll find our salt is number one in every household. Of millions of households it is being used and it has the quality. So this is something that improved the quality of life for people. It is also a, in a way you can say it is entrepreneurship to be able to identify the need and go for it. Initially we had problems. Housewives thought this is too strong. They are always overdoing it. So they uh, gave uh, 
we started telling them that useless salt. And gradually they found that this salt, cost-wise, is even cheaper because it requires less quantity. But we learned one thing, that our salt, our sea water has got 40% microfibers and organic materials. Cox's Bazaar, Techno. So it is all polluted. In running the, um, okay, uh, we went for salt, we went for several other food items where we found market opportunity. And uh, then we went for agricultural uh, productivity. Productivity of the land must be improved. That is a part of the quality of life approach. That the farmers who are the biggest in number in terms of a profession, the farmers are losing out because the land productivity is low. So how to go about this? Let's integrate the whole process and we become the largest integrator as of now. We are into tractors. Power tillers give you three and a half inch digging. A tractor gives you four and a half inch. This one inch is 10% more yield. So try to promote tractors. But the tractors have a problem of the turning radius is big. So quite a bit of land in a small plot remains uncultivated. So we, the feedback mechanism, the continuous improvement approach, we told the manufacturer in India that can you please modify this to make it a sharper turn so that it goes very near to the corner. So we have got a tractor which is modified to suit our need. And our number of plots are not only small, but they're getting smaller, it's getting impossible. So in agriculture, we uh, started with the mechanization of uh, agriculture, and you can see, and we could see ahead of time. But now harvest, uh, the, the farmers leave the harvest on the, on the field because they can't find men to cut them in time. Because at that time, everybody is busy getting people to cut their harvest. So a thrasher, a, 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 a combined harvester is very much justified. And there is a Chinese harvester we are modifying to suit our need. That will be quite bad. Agricultural sector can do very well with agricultural machinery use. Human efforts are proving to be very uh, incompetent. So we are the largest integrator. And then how about the marketing of the products? Again, the farmers get cheated because the middleman makes all the money. We went for Shop No is the name of the shop. That is the outlet where we sell agricultural produce. We sell our brands of other materials and also um, competitors. So it is at everybody's. It's a shop where you can go and you'll find all the brands that are popular. So Shopno is one of our pride that we have introduced a new marketing. Of course, Agora is, was the first one, it did. But Agora went big. We are middle size, and we are now about more than 50 in Dhaka. <coughs> So this is an area we thought we can serve the nation by uh, 
uh, efficient and uh, having the quality. Like buy from shop now, you can be sure that there is no formalin. We have a formalin tester, and we have we have our sourcing is also very strict. We are with some multinationals. With Tata, we are on T. Tetley T is uh, Tata's. We are with uh, <coughs> Godrej on agricultural uh, feed business, Deol, Chet, etc. They are in years number one. So we are 50 50 partner. Now here, 50-50 partnership is important to note. It is hard to find a 50-50 partner because either of the partner can just jeopardize the whole thing. So it is this mindset. You, your mind, you must be um, having the same kind of values to be able to accept the 50-50 partnership. With Tata, we have 50-50 partnership. With Godrej, we have 50 partnership. The new uh, negotiations that we are making with US companies, no more than 24%. And you are lucky if you get 24%. 24 makes the legal limit. If you have 76%, you can change the articles. So you can change the company structure completely. You don't have to depend on your partner. So, but when they do, when if anybody does 50-50, that is trust, and that I think speaks a lot about both the companies in terms of their values. That they not only have values written down, but they follow it. And there's a due diligence in which you have to verify that a company is doing what they're saying. It is very easy to write certain very nice phrases, writing your values, but how about following them? Mm -hmm. In our company, we manage through a system whereby you must give a boss alternatives. Otherwise, the boss is not there as a signing clerk. The boss will choose from the alternative you will give. Two viable alternatives. Very easy to say that nothing else is available. This is the best. No way. You must give an alternative and I must choose. So, your option is to the extent of preparing the two alternatives. We achieve the trust Customer focus is uh, one of our values. Customer focus, we try to survey the customer's uh, opinion, try to find out that whether they are satisfied with the uh, quality of our products or the service. And we try as a feedback, it's very helpful. Now, we are, you, you can see the, the little aspects of entrepreneurship maybe that is uh, sort of touching me and my life. But being a good manager, unless you can manage your organization well, which includes respect of your customers and the respect of the society, people in general, in order to successfully continue to operate. As I said, that no matter what you do today, in 20 years time, it will be totally different. And you have this 20 years time, you keep on incremental changes or you are negligent and you once in a while you go for a consultant or something, a major drastic change. There are all kinds of things that happens. In my organization, I want incremental change. I want an everyday change. 
That is why we have got every six months we have an innovation competition. And whatever you are doing, write down if you want to do it in a different way. What is the benefit? And we will see whose ideas are good. 20, 30 boys will get cash reward and all kinds of encouragement. So innovation is important. You must have a sustainable business. Sustainable business to ensure that it is not just you, the prosperity, the posterity will be benefiting from this organization. An organization employs people, it creates demand, it satisfies demand. It has a lot of social responsibility. So when you uh, to, to, uh, to serve the customer and to be able to continue to remain in business, you must consider sustainability of your business. By polluting the way we are polluting our waters through government, for example, because this cannot be. We will not be able to live here. Workers will be away. So if you pollute the environment, you pay the price ultimately. Very quick, please. You have to have a zero tolerance on any discharge that is uh, can or can contaminate the water system. So we as a company, we are 100% compliant. We do not throw any liquid out which can pollute the environment. We have got ETB plants where the effluents are more. We have systems to control. This is the part of our commitment to the society. This is also for our own sustainability, which is important. And the world is getting now more conscious. You'll find the pressure coming on us more and more to be taking care of the environment. The entrepreneurs that are being created by this university, other uh, educational uh, institutions, <coughs> it is good to know what is required, but the insight of how it can serve a, a need that customer has, like this pizza delivery also. It wasn't there about two years ago. But you know, traffic jam and all that, who is going to send this driver and get stuck up? You give a telephone call and it starts from there. And somebody is coming on a motorcycle delivery, you're happy. You're paying him maybe 100 taka or whatever. But uh, the service has been put out. And some people are now offering all the restaurant menus to you, that you sit at home and you order for food and it comes to you. They, what they call something, they forget. But these are new areas which entrepreneurs are identifying, identifying a need, like Dhaka traffic certainly has a lot of need. Maybe need for toilets, a shop who is doing half the time they are idle, very easily can have a sign with a first class toilet inside. You come and you pay 100 taka, I tell you it will be nothing <laughs> when the need comes. 100 taka is nothing. You know, it's thought. But when you look at it, you have got to look at the need in that broad sense and from a consumer point of view. So what exactly you would pay for this service? As I said, that maybe that one is expensive, but many people will go. That's the name. My family doesn't want to go. 
that my sisters are old. They don't want to travel to Faridpur because this there is no toilet on either of that uh, ferry. Impossible to use on, on the road. Nothing. Many people can have some well, uh, you know, colored something that catches your eye, saying that well, you can have this male, female available, and I'm sure they have they have space. You know, they will be earning quite a lot of money. Then my sisters will go, and when they go, if they need to use the toilet. 500 taka is nothing. We want to take them to Faridpur. But they can't go to Faridpur because there is no toilet facility. So you see, chicken or egg, something has to happen. So it is a question of cleverly determining the perceived need or even creating a need. And having done that, then you've got a finance problem. The idea is there. And this is where I think the society will have to help you, trust you, and give you some funds for very strict control expenditure on the real purpose, not for buying a car to start with. So, your entrepreneurial um, initiative is to now find, to find the finance. Government has many institutions which helps. I think their private sector NGOs also have got something to do with the seed money. And I think this is where the universities can work and get some, some kind of linkage created so that the good idea doesn't go waste. In ICI, in ACI, we have that uh, you can send us any good idea, and we'll be quite happy to examine it. And if there's any merit, money is not a problem with us. So we would be able to help. You see how Vikash has been created a unique way. Nowhere else in the world there's so much of use of telephone and this telephonic money transfer. You don't have to go anywhere. Just go to the nearest Vikas shop and you have money from any, anywhere. Somebody perceived it is not cheap. They're making good money, but it's good service. So again an example of entrepreneurship. What I value most in my life is to remain with integrity and honesty. To maintain that and to sincerely follow that in personal life, business, once you develop the trust of people, organization-wise or personally, then I think you have won half the battle. Life becomes much easier. It is very tempting to sometimes go off the train. Very profitable it looks, but in the long run you pay. The equity you build with customer, customer never excuses you for wrongdoing. They may consume your product, but they will remember that this company is not ethical. And ultimately you cannot win. I think ethics and integrity and serving the customer attitude, these things can make one successful. Those of you who would be entrepreneurs will have to make your endeavor economically viable 
and only then you are an entrepreneur or else you are a failed entrepreneur which is short lived existence so young friends i am sure the bright people around here i wish you all the best and you uh, think of something unique and you create a market for it and remember that a dynamic equilibrium i am not a student of economics but you know the idea about these things like dynamic equilibrium in a society in a business world is necessary because everybody is trying to innovate at the end of the day things change over time <coughs> so you have to through innovation you have got to create new products new values new customers and new ways and the old ones will be history so we all are going through this change change is coming faster and you continue to remain relevant if you are willing to change if you accept change like i do so i don't know when i'll think that i can do it any longer i am totally for any viable change I am Vakiluddin Bhuiya from BBA. Uh, my question is that uh, what is the relationship between ICI and ACI? Actually, if you explain. Thank you. ICI was here. They had 76% of the company's shares. When they divested, they divested that share to me. So the relationship now is one of ex-owner versus new owner. They have nothing to do with us in terms of uh, management, but we do have business linkage through their paints and some other products. But you have also partnership with Tata and some other international. Yes. So, so, so is clear. <coughs> Me, Mahmoud Hassan, Extreme Professor, Nutrition and Food Engineering. Um, so uh, I would like to ask Mr. Anisudola. First, uh, as I know, you have a biotechnology laboratory in Gurshan, and uh, you are doing some cooperation with uh, International Rice Research Institute. So actually, I would like to know what's the molecular research you are doing in there, and what's your future plan about uh, molecular research in Bangladesh or in agriculture sector like this. Thank you very much. You know, seed is the most important uh, ingredient uh, element in a farmer's production process, and the seed can make a lot of difference to uh, his entire efforts. So, seed requires some upgradation in terms of its uh, uh, nutrition. In terms of its uh, the duration of its uh, uh, the plants before it is harvested, so it is a continuous improvement. That research is going on. We are trying to improve new varieties. We have got now got a variety of, uh, fruit, uh, of tomato that is grown in summer. So that is our um, uh, laboratory has done it first. But you know these seeds can be easily reproduced. You buy just one tomato from me, and then you can propagate that. So there, it is difficult to create a proprietary right on that. But we are doing it because it's good for the society. But we are also doing rice research to, to try to make it salinity tolerant because you can see. Half of Bangladesh will be saline by more than 0.15 percent saline will be there. Up till come up to Dhaka, so this entire region will have to now change from the normal crop to salinity resistant rice, particularly on which much research is going on. We have we have got some, but it requires 
you are five years of development before you can be sure of a certain variety. We have got expensive machinery to do the molecular interaction and uh, we, are, uh, we have applied for certification of this laboratory by the International Agency of Seed Certification. So hopefully we will be the first one in the country to get a seed certification laboratory. So to, to answer your question, we are doing the research. Of course, and it is not uh, made known until we have got a variety and until we can establish our proprietary right because we are spending a lot of money on that. And uh, this is uh, the activity. Your what was the other question? And what research actually going on? At the moment, first my question was: you are you are creating variety. Either it's uh, uh, conventional breeding or molecular breeding or genetic engineering. These are uh, these are my question. It is now uh, hybridization which means transfer of genetic uh, characteristic. And um, we are doing some molecular research. And to go for the genetic modification, you require more expensive machinery which we are not getting at the moment. So it is a moderate seed laboratory and the seed research center. And uh, we have uh, a lot of varieties now that are being tested. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And you know very much like southern part of the country, for global warming, see what is coming up. Uh, so, I'm a Jani Jay, I'm a Jay, Kulna, we shot here on Solaja, the Bariat said that they only get Jovi Tiakun and Hamcha China. They won't change the Chasko Bajone Jokun, Rona Pani, I'm a the Akirik Chingi Chaskora, who actually must have had Hamcha China. Jacaroni, a Lobuna to the Sunjokuru, Jet Han Gatsku, Borohobe, who are the Han Koshu de Parbe, Shirokum, Han. Bobon Koran Motoba Shade, Hanit Beach, Tudi Koran Janama, the Katskutta. So, the Hanoi, I'm the Nana Jagaik into a Shulak on innovation, Jurudi Karanamra, global warming, and on a current impact face with the Barbona Judi Shakulu Napari. So, thank you, sir. And thank you for your question because th that was very much eye opening for many of us. I'm a Masu Jumi, I mean, Kalako Hotrik Kaskuri. I'm basically the interpersonal Zandachai. ব্যবসায় নৈতিকতা চর্চার ব্যাপারে আপনার দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি কি আর হচ্ছে যে আপনার জীবনে উদ্যোক্তা হওয়ার পিছনে সবচেয়ে কার ভূমিকা বেশি ছিল এবং আপনার কোন রোল মডেল আছে কিনা আর তৃতীয় হচ্ছে যে এসআই গ্রুপ কোন খাতে আগামীতে ব্যবসা সম্প্রসারণে মনোযোগী হচ্ছে মাই রোল মডেল লুক আই টেক फ्रॉम ওয়েভার ইট কামস আই हैव নো রোল মডেল অ্যাজ সাচ I believe that everybody has an individuality there is something to learn from and nobody is perfect and no situation is similar. So the person who would be my role model does, has, does not face or has not faced the problems, the issues that I am facing. So I cannot give anybody that credit of view. Uh, somebody I'll follow blindly. I have no role model, but I have thousands of models. I came into the business, I wanted to do a job. I had a choice between being a CSP person, being a international company executive. The day when the choice came, I appeared in the CSS exam, did very well. I was supposed to go for interview Viva. And in, I knew by Viva I was quite fluent in English, I had exposure, so Viva I would certainly go. So I considered that okay, I can get a CSP job. I asked my boss that look, I am in Karachi, in Dhaka, they have called me for interview, he said why? He said, I paid in the exam and now is the time. He said look Anish, you go, no, no problem. But what will you do if they say yes? I know they will say yes, but what will you do? You join civil service? It's 
starting salary is 750 dollars. Here you are getting two and a half thousand dollars. In those days, two and a half thousand was a lot of money. And you will be ending up God knows where. Even in civil service, you will go on what you do. You serve people, okay. But you will be up impoverished for the rest of your life. What do you want? But then, the opportunity, you see, where I got stuck up is that when I probed a little, I found that there's very little opportunity for civil servants to take initiatives. They're bound by rules. In private sector, you're much more flexible and you can really exercise your uh, ability to develop options. So I chose to be a business executive and there was no inspiration behind it. And uh, there was some criticism for it, particularly in the family. And uh, I'm happy that I have been able to make changes wherever I have gone, whichever factory I have visited. I have made changes for the better and I can tell you that take me to a factory and I will make change. Take me to an office, give me a presentation. I will be able to contribute in terms of improvement of that. And uh, so my inspiration is myself. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ivo Siddiqui. I am president of Bangladesh Indian Tea Gazette Association, and you are also an inventor, and uh, also part-time faculty in this university. Uh, well, I learned two things from you today. Uh, one is uh, you always ask for the two alternate proposals for your support. Uh, it is a new thing today. And also, you, you say uh, the best thing to learn something is to work for the boss so that uh, one can prepare himself to be a boss. So this is a learning for my students also. So I, I want to ask a question. First of all, I, I don't agree with you that you are not an entrepreneur. You are really an entrepreneur because you have transformed a multinational company to a national company, keeping the goodwill intact. Rather, you have increased the market value. And what is the secret? May I know it from you? Thank you, sir. You know, it was easy. It is much easier this way that a multinational to a national. If the multinational has respect in the society, if you don't deviate, but change of name only. So that is what has happened. I have kept the values that we used to follow in ICI. Those I have kept. And I have also kept a guardian ISO. So that way I made sure that I do not compromise. Even if I want to compromise, the systems will not permit me to do it easily. <coughs> Keep the image and then the name. You see, ACI, ICI, same logo. We, we had been having to and fro conversation with London maybe 10 times on logo. We tried to make exactly the same logo with just ACI. They would allow and then we changed a little more. That way the waves are a little different now. And uh, we have no round, round. The round is not there. And they would not allow us to use blue. So what you see in ACI is the nearest to what ICI would allow us to be. But at that time of transition, we communicated this, that is just a change of name, change of ownership, but the company and its uh, values, its customer uh, relations, everything remains the same. And I made no change, you know, deliberately. For two years I made no change. So this work, people perceives us still as a public company. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just a simple question actually come to me, sir. Do you think they are much happy nowadays to see that ACI is growing very uh, 
they told me that they did several dozen divestments in their uh, uh, some span of time. They told me, my boss told me two years after divestment, that I miss in our history, this has been the best divestment. Thank you, sir. That, that's, that's, uh, that is something important to note of. And when things are transforming, keeping intact or adding value, that is a global trend. And this is very a rare quality, I can say. It's not for your company and many other companies. There are a lot of examples. Like This is something very much mentionable. And thank you, sir, for And as a moderator, I can't ask questions. But it was. It comes to me, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So next. Ami Muhammad Farooq Mia, apprentice of Defodil family. The cast court chief. Sir, our question is that when you have a full offer, when you have a company that you have to do so many things, when you have a human being, 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 चाला चें ये वो कहाँ कहाँ मित्रों से इटा आरो सामने जब वो कोई समय टक की बात है आपने उत्तीक क्रम कोरे चें हमारे जो ना पूरी क्रिटिकल चीलो एक जो ना जो हमार बिजनेस रिस्क तो नहीं था हाई नहीं रिस्क चीलो ओन मेर ओनरशिप ओन मेर आई वाज अ मैनेजर शे जो ना मैं आंटू अपनी और जाई बोली this was uh, considered as a, an opportunity for me, gift from Allah. And I have to now make sure that the company runs efficiently. And uh, I started the journey very nervously, but I was sure of one thing, I'm not going to change any of the values. You know, I think one thing I would like to say very emphatically, a company gets into trouble because the top management becomes corrupt. If you can honestly run the company, the employees will be enthused to work hard and work honestly, take your example, and you cannot fail because it's an organized system which is working. Only thing is make sure you are innovating, you are continuously changing so that you are becoming, continuing to remain relevant at that time in the future. Do that and you will be surviving. Otherwise, no company that <coughs> being stagnant in their thoughts can survive very long. I am Yusuf Ibrahim, Somalia from MBA program. My question is, what tips or advice would you like to give me in order to create such peace in our environment and run it smoothly? Thank you so much. Very difficult question, but I'll try to answer it this way that uh, environments may be different. Business processes are the same. Business standards, like standards like ISO, is the same. But your situations may be different. The, the, while the systems may work here, the systems may need some modifications. It is a question of trial and error, I would say. Say, if I am given put to your country and asked to run something, I will go through some trial and error process that some learning has to be done. But I will come to the right conclusion, hopefully. And uh, so it's a question of adjustment, it's a question of understanding, it's a question of why and why not. But uh, you're right that it is it is difficult to transpose the Bangladesh system there, or my knowledge there. To succeed, I'll have to work very hard, which I'll do here. Let me. Assalamu alaikum, sir. I have a question that is, uh, if I want to be like you, then what I need to do? I, I did not inherit this company by any uh, anything other than just the chance that I was there. and. I was obviously respected by those who were the owners. So these two combinations may have made it, but uh, I don't deserve it. It's our last gift. And uh, run the company for the benefit of the mankind, benefit of the people, for the country. That's what we try to do. 
Uh, I, I can see that in your company, you're trying very hard to contribute to the agricultural development of the country through research and seed technology. In my mind, there's a question, the government and its different organizations are trying to do things like that, like uh, uh, agriculture research, PRC or PRI, whatever it is. My question is, in this in today's world of private-public cooperation sort of thing, how much cooperation or conflict do you have with government agencies? Bangladesh Agricultural Development Corporation does most of the hybrid seed, but government is encouraging private sector. We have gone into seed. Now, we multiply seed and we sell them. BADC, Agricultural Development Corporation, sells at a price which we cannot match. So this is where the private-public partnership comes. There is a lack of commitment to make it happen at the highest level. Why? Because keep it public, there is a lot to gain for those who are in the decision-making position, do not want this to happen, that this public-private partnership flourishes. In that case, their facilities will be gone. In every board meeting has a fee. Every company has extra cars in the pool. And I cannot agree with And still the majority, there are all government servants. I said that I'll have to submit my designation because I cannot associate myself with this kind of Shriya Mubarak Unhe Jin Ko Saat Par Jana Hai Lekin Jho Aasma Ke Arzura Ke Us Ko Raasta Khud Banana Parta Hai Amra Shri Be Eta Building Eta Saadhe Jete Pari Kintu Keo Jude Aakashe Jete Jai Shrikane Kono Shri Naai Shri Shri Taake Toh Hi Kota Hai Divine Blessings mixed with hard work. Divine blessings mixed with hard work. Back by good intention make miracles. To keep a nation strong and free, there are some things that must always be. So long as values and characters are kept alive, a nation and its people will always survive. For any true development, we need two kinds of development. One, accumulation of wealth through trade, commerce, industries, economic activities. Other, to cherish the value system of the people, which our honorable sir today specifically emphasized on value system on value system, on value system. Two things in life. One is requirements, other is the purpose. We need food, clothing, shelter, medicine, transportation. These are the requirements of life, not the purpose of life. We need these things for our existence, but why? To meet some purpose. We need to know what is the purpose of life. Purpose of life is not only to be a money man, to be a wealthy man, to be a happy man. Purpose of life is to be a good ordinary man with love, care and compassion. In the Holy Quran, Allah Pak subhanahu wa ta'ala says specifically what is the purpose of life. I I have created but only this mankind for my Ibadat. Now what is Ibadat we need to know? Ibadat does not mean sitting in the mosque, taking this toast be 24 hours. Ibadat means anything we do according to the traditions of the Prophet 
Allah says in the Quran, I have sent among you a perfect role model, unquestionably, unspeakably. If you follow him, if you respect him, if you help him, if you in the association of him, you will have the perfect life. My most respected sad teachers and my sober counsel, he loves me very much. I enjoy coming over here. Mashallah, by now, I have attended all the programs because these are the living role model of the nation. So who can tell very rightly, there should be monument in their name. From zero to hero. I like to quote a few things to you, my dear students. The spark of life, the flame of life, cannot be borrowed from others. It must be kindled from the temple of one's own self. Mankind very often feels that they are incapable of doing that. They will never be able to do anything in life. আমাদের কাজ ছিল আমরা আমেরিকা থেকে সিআইসি টাস তো ওজিএল লাইসেন্সে আমরা চারটা ডকুমেন্টস হ্যান্ডলিং করতাম প্রতিদিন এটা ছিল আমাদের এলোটেড ডিউটি আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আই ডিড এভরিডে 22 টু 25 ডকুমেন্টস রিমেম্বার নো ওয়ান এভার অ্যাটেইনস ভেরি এমিনেন্ট সাকসেস বাই সিম্পলি ডুইং হোয়াট ইজ রেকর্ড অফ ইট ইট ইজ দ্য অ্যামাউন্ট ইন এক্সেলেন্স what is over and above the required determines the greatness of ultimate distinction you will have. When you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, some big dreams, all your thoughts break their bounds. Your mind transcends all limitations. Your conscience overcomes all limitations and you find yourself to be a greater person by far than any time you ever deemed yourself. Dormant forces, faculties, talents, all arise and become livable. Ignites you, forces you to go forward. Sarbal said, innovation, innovation, innovation. Shokti kar apne ridhar gobi ne chudi, apne borof pichan, apna moner gobi ne shi shokti ke lakhan kurtu, dhan kurtu. Shorbokhate, total quality people. Any training, any business we do, we must stand on the TQP, total quality people. Sir Bolsen, a possibility has a do show of a company called Comas, Colleague Sara. Why? Jokon Upore Levere, corruption is a Zare. Bosera Jokon Luxury Vitor is I. এবং যখন আয়ের থেকে ব্যয় বেশি করে ব্যাংকের লোন নিয়ে প্রথম গাড়ি কিনে বাড়ি কিনে লাখ সারি ট্রিপে যায় বিদেশের সন্তানদেরকে নিয়ে সেই এন্টারপ্রিনিয়র কোনোদিন বক্ষ হতে পারে আপনি কামাই করেন কামাই করে আপনি প্রেম খরিদ করেন আপনার খুশি হবে মাই ডিয়ার ফ্রেন্ডস হিউমিলিটি আনঅস্টেন্টেশাসনেস নন ইনজুরি ফরগিভনেস পিউরিটি অফ হার্ট Steadfastness, simplicity, self-control, justice. These are all declared to be wisdom. What is opposed to this is ignorance. Most of the irony of the people that we are suffering from ignorance. We do not know. We do not not know. I like to know how many boys and girls you have kata and pen with you. You have, you have listened to this lecture, great people. You cannot get him every day, every year in life. Therefore, the university could bring this great man to this stage through his 80 years age. What is wisdom? Wisdom, what you should do, when you should do, you should do it. What you should not do, you should not do it. When you are confused whether to do or not to do, where till you are sure. Mone mone shudu bolze anti-prenur khabajabena ham. 
মনে মনে ধারণা করলে সমস্ত বিক্ষকরা ঘোড়ায় চোরা ভিক্ষা করত মাই ডিয়ার বয়েজ এন্ড গার্লস ইফ ইউ রিয়েলি ওয়ান্ট টু ডু সামথিং ইন ইউর লাইফ স্টার্ট ফ্রম টুডে স্টার্ট ফ্রম হিয়ার স্টার্ট ফ্রম হোয়াট এভার ইউ হ্যাভ অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান স্টার্ট হামলি উইথ সামথিং হোয়াট এভার ইউর লাইফ স্যার বলছেন রাস্তার মধ্যে এখান থেকে ফরিদপুর যাতে ভালো কোনো টয়লেট নাই আমি বিশ্বাস করি কোনো মানুষ সুন্দর একটা টয়লেট যদি দেয় রাস্তায় এয়ার কন্ডিশন কোনো মানুষ পাঁচশো টাকা দিয়ে শৌচাগার করতে কোনো দ্বিধাবোধ করবে না মাই ডিয়ার ফ্রেন্ডস আরেকটা সিক্রেট আমি বলি আপনাদেরকে আরেকটা সিক্রেট আপনাদেরকে বলি আমি জীবনে যদি বড় হতে চান আপনি মানুষের উপকার করতে হবে আপনার পারপাশ্য ক্লাস করতে হবে my commitment to the people improvement of life our employees and my nation that is my target i cannot compromise money earning only money will come automatically money will follow my dear friends this life is precious it is precious it is illustrious it is mysterious and is the priceless gift of god to be born as you may be to mokani asle to dar la mokam e dokan bor gundhe bakshal ka moha bishe moha kashe moha kal madhe ami mano beka ki from bishe from bishe in the great skies in the great eternity in the great universe i have men alone one to mar moto shakti man to mar moto sundorjo mondito এই বিশ্ব ব্রহ্মাণ্ডে দ্বিতীয় কোনো সৃষ্টি করেন নাই তোমরা জাগো জাগ্রত করো নিজেকে ঘুমায় না সময়কে অপচয় করো না আমি সিক্রেট অফ সাকসেস লাইফ বলে দিছি সাধারণ মানুষ কাজ করে নয়টা থেকে পাঁচটা যারা অসাধারণ মানুষ তারা কাজ করে পাঁচটা থেকে নয়টা এর থেকে যারা বড় মানুষ হতে চায় তারা সবসময় কাজ করে সবুর খান এমনি আসে নাই আনিসুর দোলা এমনি আসে নাই পিএসপি এমনি আসে নাই শেখ ফয়সাল কেম ফ্রম কেনাডা এমনি আসে নাই তোমরা জাগো তোমার মধ্যে যে শক্তি আছে ঘুম হয়ে না কাজে লাগাও জীবনকে জগৎকে ভালোবাসো দায়িত্ব পালন করা অবস্থায় কিন্তু আইসিআই থেকে ওনার কাছ থেকে অপরচুনিটি গুলো অফার করা হলো কেন তার মানে দি আর দা কনফিডেন্স উনি কিন্তু ট্রাস্ট কনফিডেন্স এফিসিয়েন্সি ম্যানেজমেন্ট এই ব্যাপারগুলোতে কিন্তু অলরেডি তাদের নলেজে বা তাদের কনফিডেন্স আনার কারণেই কিন্তু ওনাকে তারা অপরচুনিটি গুলো দিল এখন তোমরা হয়তো অনেকেই মনে করতে পারো ওনার বক্তব্যে যে ওনার কাছে যেটা অপরচুনিটি চলে আসছে সেই জন্য আজকে উনি এই জায়গায় কিন্তু খুব সহজে চলে আসে তা কিন্তু না তার মানে প্রত্যেকের কাছে কিন্তু তোমাদের অপরচুনিটি গুলো আছে যেমন আজকে তোমরা ছাত্রছাত্রী তোমরা এখানেও কিন্তু তোমাদের অপরচুনিটি আছে তোমরা কে ভালো ছাত্র কে ভালো ছাত্রী সেটা কিন্তু একজন শিক্ষক বা একজন অন্যান্যদের নলেজে কিন্তু খুব সহজেই চলে আসতে পারে এবং সেখান থেকেই তুমি কিন্তু আসলে স্পিড আপ বা গ্রো আপ বা যেটাকে আমরা প্রমোশন বলি বা অপরচুনিটি সেখান থেকেই তোমরা পেতে পারো দ্বিতীয় উনি আরেকটি কথা বলেছে সেটাও কিন্তু একটা আমি অনেক কথা যেহেতু সময় নেই আমি যেন দুই তিনটা পয়েন্টে কথা শেষ করছি যে উনি দ্বিতীয় আরেকটা পয়েন্ট বলেছে বাংলাদেশের সবচেয়ে বড় প্রবলেম হচ্ছে ট্রাফিক জ্যাম আমি প্রায়শই কথাগুলো বলি এবং আমি ধন্যবাদ ঈদের সময় ছুটিতে যাও তোমরা জানো যে ট্রাফিক জ্যাম কি ভয়াবহ রূপ ধারণ করছে প্রতিনিয়ত তারপরে কিন্তু ওনার বক্তব্য থেকে বেড়ে আসলো যে এই প্রবলেমটাও কিন্তু আমাদের জন্য প্রসপেক্ট হতে পারে যে উনি টয়লেটের উদাহরণ গুলো দিল যেটা আমার মনে হয় না দিলেই না 
কারণ আমি যখন ব্রাজিলিয়াতে আমি আজকে রাত্রি মানে জাস্ট আমি পাঁচ ছয় ঘন্টা আগেই কিন্তু অনুষ্ঠানের আগে আমি আসলাম তো ব্রাজিলিয়াতে কিন্তু আলটিমেটলি ট্রাফিক জ্যাম নেই বললেই চলে ইটস এ প্ল্যান সিটি কিন্তু কিছু কিছু ট্রাফিক মানে যা সিগন্যাল জন্য আর কি যেটাকে ট্রাফিক জ্যাম বলে না বাট সিগন্যাল কিছু কিছু সিগন্যাল আছে যেই সিগন্যালগুলোতে গাড়ি থামতেই হয় তা এবং আমি খুব মানে লক্ষ্য করলাম যে ওরা কিছু যেটাকে বলা হয় যে বেশ কিছু আর্টিফিশিয়াল বা বেশ কিছু প্রদর্শন করে ডেমোনস্ট্রেশন করে তারা খেলাধুলা ওই কি ট্রাফিক জ্যামগুলোতে এবং এখানে আমার ধারণা ছিল তারা সমস্ত ভিক্ষা করে যে এটা করে এসে হয়তো টাকা যাবে পরে দেখলাম যে না তারা প্রোডাক্ট ডেমোনস্ট্রেশন করছে কারণ কোনো একটা কোম্পানি তারা ধরে নিচ্ছে যে এই যে ট্রাফিক জ্যামে এই সময় যদি আমি একটা প্রোডাক্ট ডেমোনস্ট্রেশন করতে পারি তাহলে এই জ্যাম এখানে জ্যামটা যখন হয় ওদের জ্যামটা সাধারণত ওদের চারটা রাস্তায় আমি ভালো করে লক্ষ্য করে দেখেছি যে ওরা ম্যাক্সিমাম ইউ রোড তৈরি করেছে ওদের যে ট্রাফিকিং ডা সেটা কিন্তু চারটা রাস্তা তার মানে দুইটা রাস্তা কিন্তু অফ হয়ে থাকতেছে ওই সময়ে এবং ওরা মানে সবার নজরে আনার জন্য ওরা কি করছে ওরা কিন্তু যে আর্টিফিশিয়াল লেক ব্যবহার করছে আর্টিফিশিয়াল লেক ব্যবহার করে অনেক উপরে যে সবাই নলেজে আনার জন্য তারা বেশ কিছু প্রোডাক্ট ডেমোনস্ট্রেশন করছে মানে মার্কেটিং করছে তার মানে কি দাঁড়াচ্ছে তার মানে একটা ট্রাফিক সিস্টেম যেটা আমরা বাংলাদেশে কিন্তু চিন্তাই করি না আমরা বাংলাদেশে আমরা জানি যে ট্রাফিকের সময় কিন্তু একটা ভিক্ষাবৃত্তি হচ্ছে কিন্তু আপনারা যদি তোমরা যদি আজকে কেউ নতুন উদ্যোক্তা হিসেবে চিন্তা করো যে আমি এই ট্রাফিক জ্যামকে একটা আর্ট হিসাবে নিতে চাই এখানে আমি প্রোডাক্ট ডেমোনস্ট্রেশনের জন্য যদি আজকে ওনার কোম্পানিতে গিয়ে যদি অ্যাপ্রোচ করো একটা ডেমোনস্ট্রেশন দেখাতে হবে যে আমি এই ট্রাফিক জ্যামে এই ধরনের একটা প্রোডাক্ট ডেমোনস্ট্রেশন করতে চাই কারণ তোমরা জানো যে অনেক কোম্পানি কিন্তু মার্শাল্লাহ ইতিমধ্যে উনি এস্টাবলিশ করেছে এবং আমার মনে হয় যে লাস্ট যেই কোম্পানিটা বর্তমানে আমি মনে করি তোমাদের সবাই সবাই যেটা জানো যে স্বপ্ন যে পঞ্চাশটার উপরে ইতিমধ্যে কিন্তু আউটলেট তৈরি করেছে এবং আমার বিশ্বাস যে আগামীতে সারা বাংলাদেশে প্রত্যন্ত অঞ্চলে ছড়িয়ে যাবে এখন তোমরা যদি এই ট্রাফিক জ্যামটাতেও যদি তোমার মার্কেটিং এর কোনো নতুন অপরচুনিটি তোমাদের থেকে বেরে আসতে পারে তারপরে তোমরা কিন্তু কালকে সকালে উদ্যোক্তা হতে পারো কালকে সকালেই তুমি কিন্তু উদ্যোক্তা হতে পারো তার মানে কি দাঁড়াচ্ছে আসলে তোমরা ওনার বক্তব্য থেকে কতটুকু শিখতে পারবা এবং শিখে সেটাকে ধারণ করতে পারলা বা সেটাকে ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করতে পারলা আর যদি না ওনার বক্তব্য শুনলাম হাততালি দিলাম বাসায় চলে গেলাম শেষ তাহলে কিন্তু আলটিমেটলি হবে না এবং ঠিক একই ভাবে আমি বলবো যে ওনার বক্তব্য থেকে তোমরা যদি স্টাডি করে যদি সারা জীবন তোমরা কিন্তু সেটা কিন্তু কাজে লাগাতে পারবো সেটা অনেকভাবে কাজে লাগাতে পারো ব্যক্তিগত জীবনে ব্যবসায়িক জীবনে চাকরি জীবনে সব জায়গায় যে আমি আনিসুদ্ধ ওনার বক্তব্য থেকে এই এই লেসেন গুলো কিন্তু আমি নিতে পেরেছি তো আমি আশা করি যে তোমরা সবাই ওনার বক্তব্য থেকে অনেক কিছু শিখতে পেরেছ এবং সেটাকে অবশ্যই আমি আশা করি ধারণ করবা একইভাবে আমাদের সুবি মিজানুর রহমান আমি আশা করি যে ওনার সব বক্তব্য এখনো আছে ইউটিউবে আমরা আশা করি তোমরা প্রত্যেকটা বক্তব্য শুনবা এবং আমি বলবো যে ওনার এই পুরো বক্তব্যটাই কিন্তু ইউটিউবে পাওয়া যাবে কালকে থেকে সম্ভবত পাওয়া যাবে এবং আমরা আশা করি যে তোমরা এখান থেকে শিখবা কারণ আজকে আমি যাই না অনেকেই হয়তো অ্যাটেন্টিভ ছিল না কিন্তু প্লিজ আমরা চাই যে ওনার এই সময়টুকু আজকে যে সময়টুকু উনি কিন্তু ইনভেস্ট করলো আমাদের সাথে তাই না তোমাদের সাথে তোমরা যেমনি ভাবে ইনভেস্ট করলা উনিও কিন্তু এই সময়টুকু ইনভেস্ট করলো সুতরাং এই সময়টুকু তোমরা যদি কাজে লাগাতে পারো তাহলে কিন্তু স্বাভাবিকভাবে উনি যেই কথাগুলো ওনার বক্তব্য কিন্তু বলেছে তোমাদের কিন্তু কোনো ইনোভেটিভ আইডিয়া থাকে যেটা ওনার প্রোডাক্ট বা ওনার বিজনেস সম্পর্কিত সেটার জন্য কিন্তু উনি তোমাদের উদাহত্ত আহ্বান জানিয়েছে তোমরা ইনোভেটিভ আইডিয়া নিয়ে আসতে পারো प्रश्न कर নিজের কাজে প্রশ্ন করেন কি করছি প্রশ্ন করেন এবং যেটা হচ্ছে যে ভিশন মিশন যেটা বানাইছেন ওটা হচ্ছে একটা এথিক্যাল মিশন আর ইভেন ফ্যাক্টরি থেকে যে গার্বেজ বেরোচ্ছে ওটাও ওই মিশন দ্বারা পরিচালিত তো এইভাবেই উনি লাইফ করেছেন অ্যান্ড থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার আশা অ্যান্ড থ্যাংক অল অফ ইউ ফর কামিং এবং যারা অর্গানাইজ করছে থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ